tone settings. It's all tone settings. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. AKA Hands of Fire, and uh, I'm back here on a special um, little YouTube page I'm creating. And uh, this is the thing that I get asked about a lot. Trenton, how you get your tone? And where did your tone come from? First, the story is about that, you know, about, I would like to say about 10 years ago, um, I was um, talking to a you know, friend of mine, Harry Hage, and he gave me a magazine in here in Van Halen. And you know, even though I it started pretty long with this, it kind of like just came out with the e you know equal mark. And you know, he's a tone tracer. I'm a tone tracer. Richard Sambor tone tracer. You know, so I, I just like tone. So make a long story short, uh, I get my tones from tone come from guitar itself to the strings to the amp to the amp settings. It's all dependent on your own voice that you hear in your head. Everybody got their own tone, you know, big amp versus small amp. So I can't just sit up here and just tell you how each individual tone is made, but I can break down how I do things, what my tone consists of, and how I build it, and how I am continue to recreate my tones and all this, you know, because as you get more experience as a guitarist and the more things, more products you get available to, you know, the more you're gonna wanna, you know, dip and dab and okay, and same thing about your pickups, you know. They got a long way, the way they built. I mean, one of the reasons I got a great um, deal with the might is because me and him talk, you know, me and the uh, and Dorsey talk f pickups for a good 15 minutes. So, um, I'm gonna start off with the guitar itself. It's the easiest way to explain how I do it. And for this particular guitar, I got a tune open in um, open G or open D, all depending on which way you want to call it. Um, I use, for this guitar, I use 12s because this is my slide guitar. You know, everybody knows me for playing slide. And for me, I like thicker strings at the top, which everybody prefer to think this would be the top but I mean if this is the top and I like running 12 then you know on up to like 14 I think the next one I like G strong I mean the wrappings or the round is what they call it. if you zoom in Josh right here you can actually see the round on the string itself and that's why I prefer as my own tone it give a little bit more of a bass here to give feeling it's it give me that more of a hill country feel that I kind of shoot for, you know. And when I play slide, you know, versus, you know, on this particular string, on the G string, I just got that, like that feeling of the, the roundness of the string itself. Then, you know, it goes on and on to like, you know, more pretty much a custom set because sometimes I use a 52 or 46 or 48 up top, you know. And all depending on how deep I want the, you know, sound to go and some days I just string them up differently so then it comes down to notes the notes you kind of select you know to play just if I'm playing pop black metal etc <laughs> play where part of the neck you playing it too, you know. Um it just, you know, like I said, it's just simple things, you know, all playing all the that's you know, the note selection and all that. And I'm gonna break it down to you once I grab the other guitar. 
Uh, so keep that in mind. And another thing too, people, is um, I like, you know, as far as the guitar itself, you know, Wood got the, you know, this is, a, I think it's a Swamp Ash guitar, my friend told me. And it got a maple neck, which has always come down to like brighter sounds, you know, so it's a real good sturdy guitar and all that. And everybody will know me as this is my battle axe, which I love to play Telecasters when I play slide and all that. I love Telecasters. Um, but for this particular guitar, I got a Pearl of Gates Plus Seymour Duncan right here. And you know, I like that because it gives me a great overdrive tone and all that, you know, and it's my own type of sound that I like, you know, to get, you know. A little bit different from Mr. Aria Bronson and Dream Dream Kimbrough. It's a little bit more stronger, a little bit heavier in the bass. You know, so that's why I like the Pearl and Gates Place. It's also a hollow pickup compared to just a regular neck pickup. And they're just a stop fender pickup right here. And um got round up for the Nashville style with this guitar too cause I was up there in Nashville and they riled up and all that. So for the exciting part everybody really wanna know how I set my amp up. So, and the amp I got I'm I'm I start out as a bassman. So and also like DR strings man. Oops. So much uh, this string too, the DR string tuning set. Great for bassin and all that. Come on, get up there, damn it. Shit. Okay. So the way I tune my amp up is I got it on ultra bright. All depending, you know, which sound I'm going for. For right now, I'm going for the ultra bright sound. Give it more clarity on the bottom end. I'm compared to ultra bright. Yeah, off the more tighter trap up there on the bright side. So I like to run my bass deep, you know. Because I'm you know, I'm playing I'm in a two man group and I need a lot of bass. So that's for the that then I cut my mids to halfway. You know, because you know, some you know, mids got they they make they feel out the sound. They make the sound more rounder. And you know, mids is a nice sound to get. But the distinction comes from your treble. And they also put cut to your sound. It's the same thing kind of does like far as the treble. It kind of is another extended arm to the treble for the how I look at it. So let me give you a good description how I set up, set, set up things, you know. So I'm going to zero everything out. Bass level mids and high. Okay. And a lot of times, a lot of people just, you know, got their own preferred sound, but sometimes. It's great just to use the natural sound of the guitar as well, as in case in point. But when I want to sound muffled and all that, that's why you use treble and presence. Zero the present out and just give a little bit of treble. Now the sound don't got brightening and it's done got, you know, a lot more uplifting, you know, so let's zero back out. Just need that down there for a minute. <laughs> Sit right there for a minute. And, um, let me see, treble, yeah. And all that, so. And there's plenty of types of sound that you can chase off of. I'm like, when I wanna, you know, kinda get closer to Mr. RL, I don't even use my pickup. And thank God that he uses a lot of single coils, which is this pickup. So I just zero this out. Give me a, I say halfway to the mids. Give me some highs and some presence. And this should give me the RL bronze side, little twangy, 
my favorite album by him is the Two Bad Jam. That's the sound I like creating. So. With that being said, you know, in Junior, you know, he had a clear sound with, you know, same type of little twang, but he just loved the reverb. 